And a problem that many people have is to do with the approach and the attitude that they take towards learning. Right? Believe it or not, there are some people around the world who will take online courses like this or read books um, for no other purpose or reason than to validate their own existing ideologies. All right? So how on earth could personal growth or evolution happen through the process? And the answer is it can't. All right? So the key to our ongoing evolution and personal growth is about stepping outside of the need to agree or disagree or think about things. Instead, we step into this wiser part of our mind where we begin to reflect and consider, hmm, what's actually true here? What's the most helpful way that I could look at this situation? If there's a decision that I'm about to make, how do I know that this is the wisest decision that I could make? If I am conducting myself or behaving myself in a certain way, and I mean, let's think about how low confidence or insecurity acts and behaves. Well, again, insecurity and low self-confidence doesn't go around behaving like this. No, it doesn't, right? Low confidence and insecurity kind of looks a little bit like this. Don't look at me. Come on, right? it's what it is. Every mindset has an accompanying behavior, all right? So we get to now begin to evaluate the usefulness of our habits, our actions, our behaviours through reflection, all right? But we also get to evaluate the usefulness and the maturity of our response to new ideas.